I mean, what goes through my head is just go out and do your job. Uh, I will say up, at this, up until this point in the season, I've had a lot of reps of doing it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just going to just going to hoop, play hard. Uh, I mean, you know, when you're at this level, you know what, what your team wants to do. You know what you do well. It's not rocket science. Um, and a lot of times it's just effort and being smart. Tom, the conversations that you've kind of had with Mike Malone and the coaching staff in the past, kind of how your role has gone from maybe somebody that doesn't play every night to maybe somebody that's playing a lot in very consistent moments. Uh, just what's the... Uh, how about that? I knew one of y'all did not just do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what have those conversations been like with Coach and, and how honest and open has that dialogue been? Yeah, I mean, they've been honest. Uh, it was just about being staying ready. Um, understand there's going to be some nights I might get in there and play. There's going to be some nights I'm not. And I can kind of read that myself. Again, I played in this game a long time. I know what it's like when you prepare for games, you can kind of see how things are going to go. At the same time, sometimes the way games go, it can change for me as we've seen. Uh, so, I don't know. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of cool because it's like, you know, you're, I'm a person that takes pride in staying ready. But you've never really been challenged to this level of staying ready as far as like going to a game, not playing, and then it changes for you. So. I like challenges and I'm up for it. How did you learn how to stay ready? Uh, I pretty much have always just been like that. Um, me and my brother, my family, brothers and sisters grew up with parents that worked out all the time. Like my dad works out to this day like he's a professional athlete and that was normal to us. Um, so our regular preparation, our regular work, I guess is seen as hard work and it's just normal uh, day in and day out. And then. Going over the years of playing, I know what I need to stay ready, to stay in shape, to kind of have the best win I can without playing. So you just kind of figure that out and go with it. What about the mental aspect of that? Obviously, physically, you rely on your preparation, yeah. but mentally, how do you stay yeah, yeah. locked in? Mentally, mental, the mentality is a big deal. Um, we, as we all know, it's getting to this level, how you are mentally kind of dictates, you know, sometimes if people stay in the league, if people don't, if you're missing shots and making shots. But I think uh, mentally, Pretty much my faith in God is the only reason why I'm able to be like this. I have a certain piece, shoot, this year that I haven't even had a lot of my career. I um, mean, I really focused on trusting God and letting him kind of dictate how this goes, um, which takes the pressure off of me and puts it on him when she wants. So I literally go in, like, whatever happens is going to happen. It's meant to happen. Uh, as long as I hold a mind in the bargain and that's playing hard, everything else is going to be fine. I mean, I work out enough, so I am prepared. I'm not going out there not working on my game. and. I guess that's kind of where I'm, I'm able to be that way mentally. And my teammates trusting me too, which kind of help, helps that. You watch the defending champs kind of seem to have kicked it into another gear after the All-Star break. Yeah. What does that look like to you, a guy who wasn't here last year and now you're on the team this year? What have you seen from the team since the All-Star break that yeah. appears to be another gear? Yeah, it's, it's what I came here for, uh, is to be able to be a part of that and feel feel that intensity again. Uh, I've done it once with the Warriors, so I know what it's like when it's time to really take care of business and to be able to be a part of that, man, is really fulfilling, uh, really exciting. Um, kind of makes me believe in the NBA again, if that makes sense, because sometimes you go, you, you're on a lot of teams that just don't have that edge. But then it goes to show how special it is to, it is to win, and not every team can do this. So uh, being able to be a part of this, this intensity, this just turning it on, ready to go, is something that's exciting for me. And again, it's a reason why uh, I'm here and hopefully we can continue to do this until the end of the season. I don't want to ask the same question. It was similar, but in training camp, you mentioned how it seemed like these guys have been playing together their whole lives. Yeah, yeah. Is that how it looked and felt over this winning streak here? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I feel like I've been playing with them for a long time now. Um, again, the culture here, uh, the character of the guys, um, how they go about working, again, how they you know care about each other, trust each other. It makes you feel like, you know, it makes me feel like I've been a part of the family even though I'm just, I've just been here, you know, however many months it's been now. So I see how and why, you know, they, they've won the championship in the past. You guys have the most uh, crunch time wins in the NBA right now. What's the vibe like for you guys? So do you have any stories about these close games that you guys get? The main thing is, is like the guys are actually really comfortable and don't, don't get rattled. I mean, we can go down the line of guys who, Obviously, you, we all know how Yoke is. Yoke throws something behind his head for point five seconds, and if it gets there or not, it doesn't change how you know how he feels. Jamal, as we know, how he gets in crunch time. He turns it up. These guys are just really, really comfortable and aren't afraid of that moment. And so, 
that's just what I've noticed is when it comes to crunch time, it's not everybody else, I guess, is watching, sees the pressure. But for us, it's just we're just playing basketball. We're gonna finish this out. We know what to do in this, and we've been here. And that's what winning a championship does. That's, it gives you that certain confidence to be able to go and take care of those big moments. You guys have clearly now made a statement. Or it's like since the All Star break has started. What's the what's the next goal? What's the next thing that you're looking to do just over these final few games? I mean, to continue to do the same thing. To continue to go in that same direction of uh, coming out and dominating, uh, winning these games, and obviously you not lose. <laughs> Else. Yeah. You say your dad still works out like a professional oh, yeah. athlete? Yeah. What's my, that look like? Well, my dad is still in the old school workout type stuff, so he does like, he does weights, every body part. So he's working out. He's lifting for two hours. He runs three days a week. And literally, if, like, if he comes to visit me, if he doesn't get it, like, I'll come home and like, yeah, I got to go work out. He gets it done every single day. And that's just what I'm used to seeing him. You know, hitting, if he's not hitting the weights, then it's push ups, sit ups, burpees. Like, he has a whole routine of how he does all of it. And it's, it's a way of life, like I said, so it's just what we're used to doing. So the other people, it's like, it seems crazy, but it's just normal, I guess, to us. One more, one more. Is there anything different in Mike over the six game stretch? Um, I mean, other than him not missing at all. <laughs> I mean, Mike doesn't miss much at all anyway. So I just think he's being very, very aggressive. I think, I, I personally like how um, he's picking the spots very, very well. Um, there's not much, um, wasted effort and getting to where he wants to get to get his shots going and that as a shooter that's important um, and yeah I mean as long as he continues to stay aggressive I mean I think he's defending well too he's really really locked in again like the, how the whole team is is that shift he's just really locked in and ready to go and it's dope to watch. Thank you. Thank you, Justin.